Welcome to the statistics for non-statisticians lecture series on measures of dispersion. In the previous lectures, we discussed about different measures of central tendency and mean, arithmetic mean and harmonic mean. Now, there is an example. In a school, there are three classes. Class A, Class B and Class C. Assume that this is marks of subject mathematics. In mathematics, this is class A, the average is 60 marks. Class B, the average is 60 marks. Class C, the average is again 60 marks. Now, the three class teachers together discussing about the performance of mathematics in their classes. Grade A class teacher tells that my average is 60, so my students are good. Class B teacher, my average is also 60, so my class is also same. Class C teacher tells that my class, the average is 60. I think even though the average is same as you, my class is better than your classes. Now we have a problem. Those teachers fight each other and come to you. Now look at here. The averages of three classes are same, but the classes are different. What is the best class? So now you see, look at class A, which is a normally distributed shape. Here, in the central part, there are many students. There are less number of students with very high marks and less marks. So look at class B. Class B, average number of students are lesser than class A but they have higher number of students with higher marks and higher number of students with lesser marks in comparison to class A. Look at class C. Class C it's almost flat but again it's kind of normal distribution and they have very high number of students with high, very high marks and very high number of students with very low marks. Totally different classes with same average. What to do now? Remember, measure of central tendency alone is not good to describe about a distribution. So we need some other measure. So we need to measure dispersion or the distribution of variables. Here, three types of distributions with same central tendency. What to do now? We need to learn about measures of dispersion. So let's learn about measures of dispersion. 